Students who are turning back to their high schools in Upper Manhattan today will be met by a show of force. Police officers from all across the city mobilizing after a spate of gun violence yesterday left several people wounded that police believe is all connected by gangs. Another burst of gun violence involving teenagers in New York City. And it's prompting a police mobilization this morning outside Upper Manhattan High Schools in a show of force. It's crazy. It could be any one of us. It just happened so fast. The first happened around 10 Tuesday morning, steps from the Martin Luther King Educational Campus on the Upper West Side. A 17-year-old shot twice in front of a preschool and a synagogue at West 68th Street and Amsterdam Avenue. I will see him around school. He was a good kid. He is a good kid. But police believe he was targeted in some sort of gang feud, allegedly shot by a 19-year-old, Jake Chulabaley, out on bail for a prior gun charge. Police now charging him with attempted murder. Detectives say he tried to flee after hailing a yellow cab. And by virtue of that, our two our police officers responded quickly, grabbed the cab, took the shooter off the street, and a firearm was recovered. Though the gun violence didn't end with that arrest, two more shootings in East Harlem within a span of five hours. A 16-year-old boy was targeted after he left for lunch at Harlem Renaissance High School along with a 27-year-old bystander. Right now we are proceeding like they're all connected. Why do I say that? The proximity, geography, around schools, age well victims. And right now, police are looking for at least three other suspects they believe are connected to all of this. The mayor visited this school campus yesterday. However, uh, no comment from the Department of Education or the school's chancellor on this ongoing year of violence happening involving students outside of schools.